Coffee Gang. So it was that time we had two hot topics, and it's a feel good edition. Hot, hot. The feel good, um, you know, it's a feel good Friday, so nothing too serious. We're not talking about the presidency Mm-mm. or book or run. Mm, not it's today. It's Friday. Today <laughs> we are talking about something just, you know, just laid back and just yes. easy to laid back. You know, talk about. Uh, let's not get angry and enter the weekend with anger. <laughs> you understand? End of the weekend. NDCA with their twenty one point one billion of media. We're not talking about that. Stop calling those amounts of money. It's Friday. I can't find you now. You're crediting me that amount of money. We're not talking about those people. Let's not spoil. Our uh, weekend is a is a Friday. It's the first Friday of the month. That's mm-hmm. right, yeah. actually. So, man, I mean, it's just the chill. first chill. Friday of entanglement season. Mm. Speaking August. of entanglements, <laughs> so oh. the topic on our topics this morning is, of course, how much control should you have over your partner? How much control should you have over your partner? Go ahead and give us a call on 081-824-26591. 081 824 Five nine one. You can also go ahead and message us on the WhatsApp portal on 081-800-899-33. That's 081-800-899-33. Last but certainly not least, you can go ahead and tweet at HotFM underscore Lagos. At HotFM underscore Lagos. How much control should you have over your partner? Now we're in, like I said earlier, we're in entanglement season. It's August. And in a relationship, Eve, do you think that, okay, so first of all, do you think that it's okay to be able to kind of tell your partner, you can go here, you can't go there, you can wear this, you can't wear this. So I'm going to use an example of something that happened two days ago. So a friend of mine called and um, he's like, his girlfriend um, did something that pissed him off. So we're like, okay, what happened? He's like, um, so he went to her stories on the gram and um, her cleavage was out. Exposed. It's like it was really exposed and then he was trying to tell her like he, in fact he said I told her take it down I don't like it mm. and then the girl was like um why <laughs> like this is how I like to look and he's like well I don't like it who is the boyfriend in this <laughs> like what does that even stand for I was trying to tell him like you know she's you know she kind of is allowed like we're in 2020 you mm-hmm. know everyone kind of has agency over their body now and she's mm-hmm. not you that school of thought that women dress for the attention of men take that out okay she's just dressing for herself this is how she wants to look i now said okay let me go and look at this picture it was not a big deal like it really was nothing and he actually broke up like with her that night because of um because of that are you sure it's because of the dressing yes yes he said and and i'm like they've been good they've been perfect like she's one of the best people i i know and then he's like um and he's like i told her that i don't want to do it anymore i told her like i'm done with the relationship if she's not going to if she's going to keep doing things like this and I, all of I, that and i'm like when you in, met her mm-hmm. she used to dress the same way right so now on the so why is this a problem you, not uncle? Have the pro- you know what i think it is for that particular situation i feel like he was looking for an excuse to break up with her no because he now sends me a message the next day to help him draft a message so he could beg her <laughs> I meant not my daughter. I didn't matter. But, but, but don't you think, um, if you think about it, like I know sometimes maybe some guys could go overboard with uh, trying to control how their yeah. women dress. But don't you think sometimes it's maybe because they don't want to see them being disrespected in the public and the likes. Because that's like, like so you know how a lot of people can disrespect people when they see them how, like, mm-hmm. dress and yeah. expose their body. Mm-hmm. And he's trying to avoid it. Mm-hmm. You know, because some men, maybe they don't want to fight in public mm-hmm. when they see somebody disrespect their woman. So how do they um, manage the situation? Maybe by telling her, please, just look this way or look that way. Don't you think sometimes it could be out of love? Telling her, okay, you know what? I think don't the you intentions think this is revealing too much. Yeah, I feel like the intentions are good. They're always I don't, pure. Yeah, they're always Most pure. The time, Great intentions. Yeah. But um, it's well, how you get the message across. It's exactly. how you communicate that with your partner. You cannot tell your partner, I am compromised in this relationship. Just like a partner. Okay, let's look at the other way around. Okay. Because I know that the most common narrative in this particular instance, actually, we have a caller. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good morning. You have to give me a one for always being your first caller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Soon come. That's what's up. <laughs> how are you all doing? Yeah, we're, we're doing, doing good. good. We're doing good. Right. Yeah. Well, um, your topic this morning is a good one because uh, this issue has really caused a lot of problems in marriages mm. and even in relationships. Mm. You know, um, like CJ was saying, sometimes these things are not really controlled, you understand? Yeah. Sometimes these things are done out of love, out of deep desire to make sure that your partner is looking good when you are outside. 
looking good or your own definition. Mm. You understand? Because looking good, everybody has their own definition of what it means to look good. Yeah. Right. Um, sometimes a man could see, like before I met my wife, you know, um, the existing woman I used to apply in the face, they call, is it blush or what? Yeah. Blush. <laughs> you see, I told her, I said, this blush. I don't like it. You understand? You're already looking okay. You're looking good. You now add another color to your face. Two men, one color, two color. You know, women, sometimes they find it difficult to accept these corrections. But depending on how the corrections are made, yeah. depending on how the message is passed, you understand? There are sometimes too, I could dress, maybe we want to go out and I finish dressing. She could just wear something else and come out. Mm. And she says uh, that the thing doesn't match. We don't, it doesn't synchronize with what I'm putting on. Mm -hmm. From her body language, you will know that this thing, you too, as an adult, yeah. you will know that this thing doesn't match with your wife, you understand? Mm. You will just, I will just gently, <laughs> gently without anybody telling me, go and change and yeah. put something. Maybe I wanted to put on native, and she's putting on jeans and t-shirts. You understand? Yep. For me as a man, casual native is okay, you understand? But she's wearing jeans and t-shirts. I will not know within my brain that, look, this, I need to go, let me just go change, you understand? Right, Without her telling me, you understand? Yeah. Sometimes, too, she could finish dressing up and say, ah, this, 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 is, your, this is your wearing in a while. What is happening? Are you going? <laughs> <laughs> she would understand. Okay. Nobody is killing anybody. Nobody is controlling anybody. It's just we are partners. Yeah, yeah exactly. We try to help one another to be happy. Yeah. You understand? Like when I got, when we got married, I used to bab kudo. You know, I remove yeah. everything. <laughs> but you said you don't like this. This it makes me look, you already you already have a hard face. This will make your face look harder. You understand? <laughs> I, I just usually ask myself, but oh, this is true. I change. Uh -huh. You understand? I started cutting three steps. So you see, all these things are, it, finally, what matters is happiness. Yeah, if really. your partner's suggestion on how you dress would bring happiness to you in your marriage, well, do it. Even if it's in a relationship. If it will bring happiness, so long as nobody is trying to lord it over another. Yes, Don't lord exactly. It because both of you are adults mm -hmm. and you are partners. Nobody is coming to sleep for anybody, you understand? Exactly. You are partners, so there should be mutual respect. Okay. Mutual respect. If your partner's dressing is not okay, stylish. You know, some people don't have humor. Yeah, some people don't, have, God, about humor. Some people don't have it in their life. It's not in their life. By default, the everything about them is anger. You understand? Yeah, the man true. wants to show the woman that he's the one in charge. You cannot dress like this. You can no. Yeah, he doesn't. A mature, sensible 21st century woman should know what is okay. A married woman, for instance, should know that it's not it's inappropriate to dress nude. You understand? Sometimes, yeah. right? Okay. It's very, very inappropriate. You don't need to dress nude and then expect your husband to be clapping hands for you. Say, oh, you did well. Then when you come out, people will be talking behind you. Uh, Say, I look at the married woman, how she's dressed. It doesn't really make sense. Okay. So we learn to use our brain, do what is proper, so that nobody would feel that another person is controlling him or her. Okay, okay. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank, thank you so you. much, Mr. Thank Mecca. You. Mr. Well, Mika touched on a couple of things there, but one of the things that he said that kind of stuck out to me is like, okay, do what is proper. Mm -hmm. Isn't or it's should relative, what exactly I think. what is proper should be relative because isn't what is proper what makes you happy? So if I, for instance, get married tomorrow and I decide that I want to wear a cleavage bearing, bearing blouse, mm -hmm. should I not be allowed to do that? Or all of a sudden now, because I am a married woman, I must button up two extra buttons on my shirt. See, like, 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 you, know, like, you know one thing about um, you know being in a relationship with someone or you know being married. I'm not married yet, but I know. Like, I think I have a lot, <laughs> you know, a couple of ideas. Yeah. Okay. Both of you would compromise a lot of things. Yeah, compromise. Now, his could, um, your husband could be maybe he doesn't like the way you expose your skin. Okay. And maybe yours could be you don't like the way he goes out drinking with his okay. friends. Okay. Now maybe he stops drinking. Moderation. Friends. Moderation. Do you get? Mm -hmm. Now I mean it's it's just it's just normal or proper you. Do the same in terms Yeah, just of try to adjust. Maybe you try to adjust, to but adjust. don't lose yourself. Mm. That's the thing. So try to adjust for the person. And again, just as he said, it's it's really about how it comes out. Mm. Because 
then you know you have two independent people who decide to be together mm -hmm. so you know you have everyone who has had their own way of life it's like when some girls say oh i don't like the way you go out with your friends and some guys would be like well i've always done this right. you, get, you know so you now have to put that other person's to. feelings yeah. into consideration yeah. so, so let's, yeah. dressing is i think maybe a very minor thing for you to be saying you can't change uh -huh. hello hello good morning good yeah morning. good morning uh, what's your name where are you calling from it's um, innocent calling from Yaba. Okay, innocent. How are you today? Yeah, I'm fine. It's a nice topic. Thank you guys for removing our mind from the. <laughs> we need to. We need to. We need to. All right, yeah, go so ahead. It's a, it's a good one. I have. I just listened to Mr. Kisimika, mm -hmm. um, uh, analysis. The man is the the Konokopian person of knowledge. Uh, <laughs> so, well, I'm not married. And I'm not in a relationship, but I'm married and I'm in a relationship with a child. Okay. okay. What am I trying to say? Uh, I've been, I'm, I'm using other people's experience to explain yeah, marriage true. and relationship. So, uh, if a partner is controlling, maybe I, I mean, I'm not in a relationship and I, and I see somebody who dressed so sexy and mm -hmm. certain, um, actually enters my eye and I'm like, okay. Let's get serious. First and foremost, from inception, the person, I saw the person dressing in a manner that got me attracted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. first and foremost, I have to tell myself, this is this person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, controlling. I will not want to control her for her to change. I can talk to her if she's willing to say, okay, now I'm, I'm in a relationship and another thing about relationship is when you know that your partner is serious, then you can you can ask, you can you can actually accept to be controlled by your partner. One, if you know that your partner is not serious with you and he's telling you not to dress like this, not to do makeup, not to do mm -hmm. that or this, you will be like, ah, this guy is trying to make try to tie me down and he's not even serious. Mm -hmm. That's for a relationship. Then if someone is married. If you're married, if it's, if it's, um, there's, there's part of the Bible that says, I was, I was a child, I was living child. Now I'm an adult, I'll be like an adult. I guess this is part of the Bible that says that. Okay. If a lady or a man is married, you have to do away with those single kind of life. Some like, things will change, yeah? In some, like, yes, yes, like, occasionally. When you're going out with your husband, you don't have to expose your dress. You don't have to wear there's something that is very short based on the fact that you know you've accepted the responsibility you've accepted the responsibility of a married man or a married woman. Occasionally, I'm not saying that you must do it ah, not gonna tell me, go and tie up why are you wearing no 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 no. I'm not saying that kind of um concern. Well if a lady knows and I've accepted the responsibility. You know, we'll, of be back, we'll, we'll be back we'll be back with you, right? Coffee gang. Yeah, hello. Uh, we're back. We are back uh, to the coffee gang. Sorry for that short break. I need. To, I need to take it. Hello. Good morning. Good yeah. Morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How yeah. are you doing? Yeah. Fine. Where are you? Yeah, doing good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Alice. I'm calling from Yaba. You called me this morning that someone asked you to wish me happy birthday, but I didn't get to hear the person name very well. Oh wow! You want to confirm? You said Alice, yes. yeah? Well, yes, yes. Uh, Ichirugo Augustine. That's the person okay. that's, yes. Uh, Ichirugo okay. Augustine. All right. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Thank you so much. All right. So we are back on Hot Topics and we're talking about how much control should you have over your partner? How much control should you have over your partner? You can call us up 0818 2426 Two four two six five nine one, or you can send a message to the WhatsApp number zero eight one eight zero zero eight nine nine three three. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Innocent calling from Yaba. Okay. Yeah. Innocent. Sorry for cutting you. I I got lost in your talk and I forgot that I need to take like you know a quick commercial break. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like I, like I said, I said um, if you see if you. You um, get, got married to somebody, you're dating someone, and the person, the way you saw the person, and mm -hmm. you try to control, like you're trying to change the person from the way you saw the person, is going to be um, difficult. You just have to accept the person 
uh, the way they based are. on how you, yes, from inception. Then if a person is married, the person has to uh, accept the responsibility to change from okay. being or dressing like a single or acting like a single and all of that. So that's what I was trying to say in essence. So we should not try to control. We should not try. And, and there's a way sometimes some women will call their husband my ogre. Some, um, some wife will call their um, some um, um, husband will call their wife my madam. My, my madam. It could be their love husband. language. My, it might not it be. It could just be their love language. I'm telling and you. Sometimes, see. Some, sometimes, if you see the way they even call honey, you be like, honey, honey, oh. They've, see, they've, they've lost, innocent. You see, on that particular um, note, I don't think you can tell people how to uh, call their spouses. Or I think it's a love language. Some people call their wives. Yeah, yeah, it's, Some people may call it's call it's their wives. Language. Call their wives, mommy. <laughs> Uh, Mama, like, do you understand? Um, they call their wife mommy, and it's not as if like she's their mother, but it's just that's their love language. Do you get? <laughs> so, <laughs> trust me, if it's that one. Okay, I, I, I understand. But my calling someone uh, mommy or calling someone husband daddy, it, ah. yes, I understand. Hey, it's the same thing as my ogre. But the issue, oh. <laughs> <laughs> issue is that the way a man is treated, you discover that this person is 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 is. is Either uh, he or she's in a bondage or something. That's not really okay, marriage. Okay, no, I, I, I get, I get. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that so angle, no problem. That kind of relationship is um, actually modern slavery. So we should try as much as possible to draw the line between um, controlling and trying to persuade. So okay, thank you. That's what I'll All right, th- thank you so much. Ah, before you now say my Igbo brothers cannot call their wives mommy. <laughs> 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 But yeah, okay. So now he talked. He said something about okay when you when you meet somebody when they are single and the way they dress. You know, like um, the you different rules apply when you're married. You know, sometimes uh, when you meet uh, people like some someone new and you guys vibe, you guys connect. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, it's not about what they you know wear. It's about you know their personality. Mm-hmm. Right now, you too, you have your flaws. Yeah, you get. And let's let's be honest. If you're working, coming to a relationship, both of you must be willing to you know, compromise. That's the yeah. basic thing that relationships are built on. So, you could have your flaws and she has hers that you're not comfortable with. Mm-hmm. Now, I've seen a lot of girls that say they can't stand their man, you know, hanging out, having a female bestie. Yeah. We'll come back to that. Hello? Okay. Having a female bestie. Now, when you have a female bestie, in fact, when she comes into your life, you have to cut all types of that female bestie. Mm. And you agree to do that. Okay, well, come back to that. Hello? 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 Yeah, hello. Can hello? you hear? Hello, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Kashet and I'm calling from Aja. Okay, okay. Kashet. All right, go ahead. Okay, um, I'm a married man and uh, I've, been, I've been four years into marriage now and I think uh, I can contribute to this from yeah, of the course. experience I've gotten so far. Yeah. When you talk about the level of control, on that aspect, I think it's something that has to be much more. Mm-hmm. It's not. It's not. It's not supposed to be on one person. Yeah. Mainly, if you are married, because when you are married, the responsibility is together. You, 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 you're carrying the your wife's responsibility, and your wife is also carrying your responsibility. Okay, let me give you an instance. I'm this kind of guy. I've never wore. Suit before. Okay. I'm 39 years old, and I will tell you, I have never wore a suit on my body, like coat and tie. What did you wear on your wedding day? I'm a Muslim. Okay, okay, okay. okay. All right, all right, all right. Yes. So we didn't wear the normal. We didn't do the normal. We just did our traditional wedding. Okay. The Islamic wedding, and you know, when it comes to the Islamic wedding, you can actually wear suits. Dressing for your Islamic wedding, the type of dress you wear for your Islamic wedding does not really mean that uh, you have to be on a badger and, yeah. and all that. <laughs> but at least just dress something that will cover you up okay. as a guy and also cover your back. So we actually chose um, a very nice traditional outfit. Okay, when I told my wife about this, and I was like, oh, guys, high time now you start dressing corporate like. You are a man now. You are no longer that kind of boy. And my wife has this very high sense of dress. Mm-hmm. You know, she wants to see a man... Looking dapper. <laughs> trendy. Yes, she wants to see a man meet up with the current society, the kind of dress code, yeah. you understand, that, that 
is in that is in vogue. You know, mm-hmm. and most times when I go to work, when I when I dress and I want to go to work, I I'm I'm, I'm into construction. I'm a contractor. You know, okay. you don't expect me to start wearing coat and tie to the side. Yeah, so I'm mostly know? denim most and. Yeah, I want to be on jeans, on yeah. on uh, on a t shirt, a face yeah. cap, and uh, a trainer. You know, something that just makes me smart. That like when I'm on site, I don't got to, I don't need to have uh, something that will just hold. You know, my my clothes have to be very smart. Yeah. But sometimes you will tell me, no, oh, no, no, don't wear this, don't wear this. It makes you look too boyish. You are too child. You know, it makes you look like a boy. Like you know, you see on. Yeah, you understand. Yeah. Yeah, you're a married man, man. You should try an upgrade. And moreover, you are not, you are not, you are not like a, a worker on the side. You're like a boss on the side. Okay. You can start putting on some styles into you. Start showing them that you're married and you're a boss. You know. <laughs> now she's she's giving me two ideas. Dress as a married man, then also start appearing as a boss. Yeah. Okay. You, you understand. So she started she started conditioning me to that type, to that type. And before you know, I started liking it. Exactly. I started liking because I started liking the concept of dressing. She's trying to she was trying Introduce. to keep me in. Mm-hmm. And now I tell you, in fact, I have like four suits that 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 I'm, that, I'm, that I'm proposing to get now that I will start putting. Yeah, the seller is currently doing it for me. That, right. that. Then on our own part, yes, yeah, then on our own part. Actually, what got me. Attracted to her, and I even got married to her. Was a sense of dressing. Okay. She, she's yeah. She 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 was born and brought up in the north, in Kano, precisely. Like, you know that this Kano, uh, this Muslim, they cover themselves up and everything. Yeah. But her own type of dressing, her own type of cover up, is not being the um, the big veil all over her body and everything. You know, it's it's very 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 classy. Yeah, you she's know, stylish she's about dressing. it. With the cover up, I'm not looking at it that it also suits my own style. Fine, I'm not the type that if you see me, you will never know I'm a Muslim, though. But you know, I don't dress normal. Okay, but so I now start saying her that okay, this particular lady, I dress as it will match my own. Being, being that we're even same, we are in the same religion, we're both Muslim. But you know, I had the intention of getting married to a Muslim lady, but, but I don't want this tie that has this whole lot of. Because in other words, in other words, funky. in other words, you guys made it work. I mean, she she told you something <laughs> no, that she wanted. Funky. Funky. Yeah, you wanted a funky, a funky Muslim babe, funky a funky yeah. Muslim. <laughs> <Funky hat. laughs> you know, I just want a Muslim babe that matches me up. You understand? Yeah. My own style, and it actually works well. Oh, that's nice. Till date, that's how she dressed. And uh, I won't lie, we got to the beach, and when we were going to the beach, she has a way of putting it off. Okay. That matches everything. All right, bring it yeah, on. Bring so it on. Love, oh. Yeah, so, the guy, you want so to give us a host Telemundo, no, no, no. Telemundo <laughs> script <laughs> now. Love, when it comes to dressing, eh, eh, ah. she, she put me on another line. Ah. 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 So that's the control. That's like, that's like, if you see me now, eh, I'm totally changed from who oh, I was. Shit. That's, 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 that's more like it. I say it's my guy. All right, thank that. you. Thank you so and much. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. So that's the control, yeah. yeah. All right. God, you when can, can I change you can tell that <laughs> You can tell that he has so much to say. Before he would he just... He has. Like he three does. hours, this movie is not over. <laughs> <laughs> but we appreciate that call. It was refreshing. But you see, so yeah. like that, that somebody... Um, the woman came in his life and she changed him. So he was willing to change. So I think like when you go into relationship, you should be open to that idea of, okay, yeah. okay we're going to relationship. But I don't, have, I don't like this thing about you. You understand? Why don't you? Then, I have see, a point, Uncle. I okay. Wait. <laughs> like I don't like this about you because if you say okay, uh, you cannot change the way I dress. Then what if the guy says okay? You know what? I don't want to stop drinking. I don't want to uh, stop keeping. Yeah. Uh, um, reduce my late nights. I- I'll stand out my friends. Exactly. You don't like those kind of things too. So I think you guys should always um, you compromise. know compromise. 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 And I'm working constantly to reduce it because mm. um, she's not comfortable with it. With it. Mm. You understand? I know hers too and she's reducing it. She, she, in fact, she has reduced it. Mm. You, you see, that's so a I'm good thing. Saying, he can admit. He can well, admit. Like, no, because yeah. obviously some people would be like, okay, this is a certain way you are and they don't give you props for when you're actually working towards it. Just as you say, like, she has reduced In fact, you're like, she's reduced. Nah, she has reduced it. Mm. You know, you're giving her kudos for what she's doing and you're, um, what's the word now? Validating her feelings exactly and her efforts. Hello, what? I'm sleeping. Yeah. No sense. Ain't no sense. Ah, what did you forget? Ah. So, so, you have a girlfriend. <laughs> you have a girlfriend. You, 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 you. I'm asking you. Hey, I have a girl I love now. Now, what for you? <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> what am I looking for now? So, yeah, <laughs> <thank you>. uh, <laughs> 
I mean, well, everybody um, has somebody they are looking at, you know. Uh, the, uh, the, 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 the color that just, um, the last color was so, so, um, how I put it. He has a lot to say concerning them. Um, yeah, 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 you can tell that the man is in love, that he, he understands, he catch yeah, on, yeah. he catch on well. Yeah, what I, what I, what I was saying is that both of them saw themselves and they decided to work in synergy mm. to bring about a successful marriage. So, yeah. anybody that is willing, that, it's just that sometimes, uh, where, where, where we are coming from, if you're coming from a failed relationship, maybe one, two, three, four failed relationships, and you're coming into to meet somebody who is pure, who let's say is I'm not saying is bad in terms of sexuality, I'm saying is bad in terms of relationship. The person wants to give his all, but you guys coming from a failed relationship, you don't want to be controlled because of uh, we are made of we are products of our experience. You understand? So anybody who is, who is who will be willing to accept the fact that there is a there's a chance for a change can actually make a change. Lab color actually changed my mentality. Um, oh, okay. oh, that's that's nice. Nice. So you know what you do now? Just go to no, 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 no. just go to the you know the ocean and just cast your net uh, and catch plenty. Like, what? Go to, what? Go to don't, uh, don't mind go him, fishing. Don't go mind fishing. Him. Say you don't have a girlfriend. Say go fishing. <laughs> you understand? Okay. This was the time me in my work. Uh, I'm always in the pharmacy. Always the You're in the pharmacy. I don't get time. Wait, you're, you're like always in the pharmacy. You don't get time. So you want to, you want to marry your, you want to marry your drugs, <laughs> guy. No, no, that's why I'm telling BB to at least now. Uh, <laughs> what if I tell you BB is taking? <laughs> what, what if I tell you BB is taking? Uh, what if I tell you that? What, what, uh, what did you say? Oh. What? Wait, so Bibi, I said, hey, are you taking it? Leave Bibi. <laughs> Guy, go and cast your net. Trust me, you'll catch someone, okay? <laughs> All right, thank okay, you so much. Guys. Thank you so much. All right, so yes, um, both of you must be willing to actually make that change. Yeah. Dressing as be- actually, like you said, broke um, your friend's relationship up. Yeah, but um, as basic as we think dressing is, um, it depends on who. Let's take this call. Hello? Depends on who, yeah? Yeah, depends. Hello? Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Now, what's your name? Where are you calling yeah, from? My name is Chisom. I'm calling, calling from Lekki. Oh, Chisom. How are you doing? Yeah, yeah thank you. What's up? Good, good. All right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, well, this topic is very interesting. Now, uh, I like it. That I listened to you this morning. And my girlfriend was in the car when... <laughs> when uh, when uh, she was in the last call of okay. You know, because I had, I, we had an issue two days ago. All okay. Right? She is all about the whole getting, getting. She has three already. Alright, and she travels to Abuja and comes back with an extra one. Man, I don't really pissed off. Mm. I'm more of a conservative kind of guy. But I like big this flash is just nice, just trendy. So no fans set it down a bit. No way to pull up. Mm-hmm. You have three already. Why are you having an extra one? You understand? And you see the blah 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 that's who she is, this that that. But, but you know I don't like this kind of thing. You know, so I think relationship is all about uh, Commitment. You, have, you know where to say, okay, any call off in this area, mm-hmm. easy a friend here, you don't like this kind of thing. Because if I do stuff like that, that she doesn't like, I know women, they will blow that out of proportion. You understand? Who said? Who said? What are you trying for to real, say? For real, for real. <laughs> like, for real. Like one day, if, if I keep hanging out with my guys, every time, and you know, I don't like it, and you tell me, and I, and I don't put in effort to say, okay, let me stop here, or maybe if I must go, I must try and rub it in. I can't be able to let me go now, please, now. You know, try and do some small mushy mushy before I go. Just that. <laughs> but this one, you just go come back. You know how I feel about this kind of thing. You just go come back, and I see an extra person over here. Come on. I was just busted, like, really. I was, oh. I was, I was, I was, I was I have was, a question. Uh, when you met her, how many piercings did she have? <laughs> she had three. Oh, so she okay. had three as that when you met her. So you didn't think yeah. that this was someone that had a propensity to like piercings? Well, I told, I told her already. Like, we started dating when we were in we were university, all right? And she had one. They were in university before. When we were dating, she had an extra one, all right? She, don't, she knows how I felt about it. So I like, well, I let her do it fine. It's okay. her body. How do you feel a type of way about her body? Tell me. <laughs> it's her that getting the piercings. And I'm thinking if me you met her with really piercings. Okay, like when, when you met her, did you tell her about the piercing? Like, okay, maybe you don't want too much of it. You don't like it. What did she say? Yeah, I, yeah, I thought she, we talked about it before. But when she mentioned that she wanted an extra one, we talked about it. And I told her, man, this is not too much. What you have to go to. 
Yeah. And I felt, and I felt that was enough. Yeah. If you must, if you must, like she said, if you must, you can bring it up again. That and then I still want to do this to you. You understand? Yeah. Not taking you back to where, where, when I feel we already agree that okay, the work you have are enough. Let's stop with this. All right. I'm, I'm, well, all right. I'm telling you, to be honest, I almost caught up the relationship on Monday. Uh, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. I, well, I mean, everybody has their breakup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I felt, I felt, I felt betrayed. Ah. Because if if we are doing stuff, if you cannot listen to me now as a boyfriend, if we get married, you will not be able to. Listen. That's the point I was coming from. Okay, okay. Well, that's actually a point. Uh, yeah. Both, both yeah, ways, actually. Both, both ways, ways yeah. yeah. Both ways. All right, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, yeah, both ways. If you cannot listen to somebody that you're dating, like you're in a relationship, like you consider ma- marrying at some point, then, yeah. That's a toxic way of saying it because why would a person that I'm dating think that I should listen to everything that they say? So does that mean that this person says, all right, Go jump so up I'm, the I, I, I just want to, I just want to stand my man for a bit right now, because he says I don't get why people always have these things over women's bodies. It's her body at the end of the day. Yeah. What she does with her body reflects on her part, might reflect on her partner, um, negatively or positively. But at the end of the day, it it's is her, her body. body. And now my thing is, if you meet, that, you know, if you meet someone in a certain way, mm-hmm. um, it's just like this. I know that. As, as a human being, there's not much you can change about another person. It's just like how we talk about when people go into relationships and you meet someone just anyway and you say, oh, I'm going to change him. You can't change anybody. Yeah, that person can only make the decision to change maybe because of how they rate you in their lives. Yeah, we mm-hmm. say these things with our government. Oh, they don't rate us. That's why they don't do this or this or this. If someone rates you, they will take certain actions. But again, it depends on the approach. If I feel like you've accepted me in truth, and then it feels like, do we have a call? Now, nah, all right, we're going on a quick break. We're still on hot topics. Don't go nowhere. Stay with us. Coffee gang. Me, the man, CJ, BB Ray, and Eve, and we are on hot topics. Oh, yeah, the feel good version <laughs> of hot topics today. Nothing serious. We're talking about compromise. Not really compromise. How much control should you have over your partner? All right, if you want to contribute, you can call us up on 0818 242 Six five nine one, or you can send a message to the WhatsApp number zero eight one eight zero zero eight nine nine three three zero eight one eight zero zero eight nine nine three three, and of course the Twitter handle hot fm underscore Lagos. Any of these platforms, you can reach out to us. All right, how much control should you have over your partner? Now you know we talked about we've talked about dressing, and people have contributed that sometimes you want your partner to look a certain way and all that. Don't you think sometimes maybe because the guys don't want their friends to disrespect the wife. Maybe that's why they do. They go that extra mile to should they try to change her dressing in some cases. Because you know, some guys, some guys can actually be angry when their friends or people in the public look at your babe and be like, uh-uh. as in you understand how they have this disgust over their faces mm-hmm. and they be like, I look at his wife looking a certain way. Do you understand? Don't you think maybe somebody they're trying to avoid that? That annoyance, I, I I feel. I feel like it, as long as the intentions are good mm-hmm. and they are presented well, as long as you're not dating a goat <laughs> <laughs> or with you know if with somebody, I feel like there's no need for unnecessary stubbornness sometimes. Yeah. But then it depends on how these things are presented. Because if someone is coming and literally feeling acting like they're reading you a riot act, it's not going to go anywhere. Absolutely. You know, you oh, of course if, it's if, if more so if you've met someone who's a bit you know who's a certain way already, you have to oil. You know, oil your voice and say it in a nice way so they understand the reason behind it. But I feel a lot of people act without giving reasons. Mm-hmm. And when you do that, you're talking to another person who's an adult, who's opinionated, who has, you know, grown up with their own mindset. So when you do that, you're just looking for war, basically. So if that's the case, okay, you know, I don't like this. So they just say, don't wear that. Don't just wear that. Just like what, said, what, it makes what me if, uncomfortable. I feel like a what lot if of the that's time, the way they grew up? Like that. That's, exactly. Then they have something to fix as well. Uh-huh. You know, they have something to fix. Um, I was listening. There was something, uh, and that's hard to say now because it came from Will Smith. Um, but he did say something. He said, um, it's, are you owe it to your partner to make yourself in a way that you would be proud of. Yeah, of so course. you know, so that's the thing. You need to build yourself before you can take on being with somebody else, mm. mentally, spiritually, everything. So that when you're with someone else, you're not a burden. 
you know you're not you're not a problem it's more blissful to be with you you know how to approach situations you need to work on all those little little things that can be very um off-putting yeah Yeah. i think that's i think that's really important i think before you get into any sort of relationship you need to know yourself you know what you like know what you don't like know what you know what you can take know what you will not because at the end of the day if you meet somebody you should go in with the intention of accepting them for who they are not trying to change them when you think that you you know okay i don't like this part of her but i'm gonna try and change it i don't like this part of him but I'm going to try and change it. You will just disappoint yourself. And essentially, you're falling in love with the person that's not the person that you're dealing yeah, with. Yeah, don't allow long throats or selfishness force you into something that you think you must. I, I always say this, um, you know, sometimes be realistic with yourself yeah. and who you're with and know what to expect. And if you think it will be too hot, don't try to force it. Don't say, right. oh, I care too much about this person. If you care about them enough, you know you don't want to make each other's lives hell. hell. So you have to really know what you're going into and make up your mind. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we have a message on the WhatsApp uh, portal. Who's, um, this is from Emmanuel who says, being in a marriage needs compromise uh, based on mutual understanding. I was in a relationship and my partner told me that she doesn't like football and doesn't like, don't like me playing football at mm-hmm. weekend or even watching football. Mm-hmm. She's the kind of person that likes watching movie and I'm a sports kind of person. It was difficult to adjust. It really did not play out well. Mm. So maybe she was more of the Telemundo kind yeah, of person. And he was a super sport kind of <laughs> But yeah, that's that's but well, I mean that's selfish if she wants you exactly. to stop playing football yeah, all and um, nothing. That's yeah, kind she of likes like... watching movie and you're a sports kind of person. That means they'll be fighting for the remotes a lot. Of exactly. Times. That's just that's that's what we we're saying. So it's selfishness on one part. It's always gonna be someone being selfish right. and not understanding. Fam, I don't know, find a way. <laughs> But Find a way, let her away. let her watch movies on her phone. Let him watch his football. Yeah, I feel don't like, be excessive you know, about or you too. Or if you too, get sir. a tablet and you watch your own football on the tablet, but I do feel like you know that's it's such a basic thing that there should be a compromise. With. Football is ninety minutes. You like, can actually compromise you on can everything. Compromise. I believe. Like me, that I don't even watch football. I'll at least have to pretend to be interested. Hello. 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 Yeah. Um, yeah. CJ. This is uh, back. Um, I want to respond to this particular one now. <laughs> this one about compromise. Okay. This um, the lady that says she like watching movies, but she doesn't or, uh, like the the husband or boyfriend watching soccer, right? Yeah, or playing football. Sir. Or playing football. Well, uh, compromise is important. But you know, the technology has made all these things so good. You understand? Like in my place, uh, in my house, my, my kids, my two boys, they like uh, cartoons so much. You understand? Yeah. So they, 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 they compromise, yeah. So that's I like my news. And they like coming to my room. And when they come to my room, they want to watch their cartoon in my room instead of their own room. You understand? So sometimes what I do, I allow them to have their way, especially when it's not yet 10 o'clock for Chinese news. <laughs> but you know, uh, for the husband and the wife, if your wife says she would, she wants to be watching her Telemundo, Big Brother Niger, and you don't want it, my dear, this life, you cannot come and kill yourself. Get a DSTV. Um, ah, Mr. Mekai, they do add, though. They do add, though. They are doing adverts for these people. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, okay, but... Okay, get, get a digital, a digital, digital account, and they boo you to so watch different views. channels. Different, yeah. Control your channel from your room if you like. Watch so long as uh, you are not watching a demonic program under my roof. <laughs> you understand? Right? Control because sometimes, really, these women, especially women, eh, when they tell what you what they us, like, Mr. Mecca. Hmm? Mm, what about yeah? us? <laughs> no, no. So, there's so many good things and some bad things. Right? <laughs> you understand? Now, when a woman is so engrossedly involved in a particular program, eh. Uh, and you're telling her you want to change this. No, my dear. This morning I got something that will never both of you to be watching what you want to watch as your convenient time without any wahala. What if you don't you have understand? money to do it? What if now? Like... No, 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 if you don't have money to do it, why should you marry? Ah, 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 no, no, Mr. Mecca, that's not the no, way to no, 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 Let me tell you, hey. you, 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 my brother. Let me tell you, my brother. If you don't have money, you understand? Uh-huh. If you don't have money at all, at all, at all, don't marry, just be managing your life. Let me tell you, most of the problem we are having in marriage is today. 99.8%. You see, I'll say, let me not exaggerate the percentage. At least a higher percentage of it 
this lack of funds. So. Mm. I'm not saying it should be one like time billionaire. Yeah. I, I'm not saying you should be a billionaire Adam Gote. Well, if you're Adam Gote, it's not a crime. <laughs> but if you don't have a, a money at all, you don't have anything at all, why would you think of marrying? Is that person mad? Uh-uh, Mr. Reka. Go, go, <laughs> and yes, I'm telling you, you, you don't know what was happening. You, when they tell you that the love of money is the root of uh, all evil, you understand? You don't know that the one root of, another version of it is that the lack of money is the root of many evils. You understand? <laughs> In marriages today, when you see husband and wife hitting bottle here and there, you understand? Go and check it. Eh? Finance, financial issue there. A lot of times, you understand? It's not finance, but I get There's you, sir. my brother. I have seen it when there is no money. Except that Everybody's except blood is hot. Now, Yes, except, except these two partners are so humble, they love each other, they have fear of God. That is the only way they can be able to beat poverty. You understand? Mm, you right. see, poverty is very bad, though. Poverty can bring out the real evil in every person. You understand? <laughs> in fact, poverty can make you even lose the kingdom of God. Because poverty will lose the possibility of lying, doing all sorts of things to be able to make ends meet. Oh, poverty is very, very bad. Okay. So somebody, if you don't have money at all, at all, at all, you don't have any means of livelihood at all, my dear, don't marry. Okay. Don't come and multiply wahala in, marriage, in, in the marriage institution. You understand? Right. Right. Wait, wait, and wait, you get something to you. And then when you can fend for yourself, take care of yourself okay. before thinking of taking another person's wife, uh, another person's daughter. <laughs> Except if you don't have a, the woman you want to marry, half. Uh, both of you can team up together and be managing your life. Okay, Not that you don't have, you. Woman don't have, the woman don't have anything. You will come and manage and be replicating a uh, uh, problem in the society. Okay. 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 Well, uh, Emeka, hmm. a lot of women be happy with this, so but I get your point. Don't, um, you know, bring in kids <laughs> and you can't take care of them. But when it comes to um, watching, um, you know, TV, yeah, you know, programs now. That should be... I feel if you can't afford to have a... Um, you know, Compromise to go, of that? No, <laughs> hey, God, what are you married If you for? can't afford subscribing for like a dual, like, you know, views or something, yeah. like, you know, to have um, two different, um, this thing, um, satellites or whatever yeah. you call it. I think you guys can come to compromise on how you um, share mm-hmm. your TV remote. I feel okay. Let's say um, there's this super she watches by seven, and um, your football match is by eight, mm-hmm. and the super <laughs> super maybe is for let's say two hours or an hour thirty minutes. It depends on the you know duration, and your football match is two hours. You can let her watch a super opera. then by like eight. 20 you can yeah. switch Bing. into Stand. your football so you watch like second half and maybe a little bit of the first half mm. you understand everybody should just try to make everybody <laughs> happy basically yeah. or some days you can say okay, you know what babe it's i'll go to a viewing center watch your football match next week is my turn exactly. it's my turn i'll watch my football match at home with open salad <laughs> and you know and you can go and, see. And, and, and transaction <laughs> sure you get ah, it has to be a transaction maybe out of um, four weeks in the month let's say the program comes up four times and that particular time you watch your football games yeah. and that's like four times let's say four days in the month you can just agree okay you know what today is my turn I'll watch my match next week is your turn you watch your super opera like because not everybody can afford you know paying for extra because that's even extra money exactly yeah. you get if it's supposed to be six thousand for your subscription, you're paying like twelve thousand yeah. or ten. What if you have budget of um your light bills and the rest, and you can't yeah, afford if you that? Just so can't you guys have it to. In. Mm-hmm. It's not poverty, Mister America. At least it's not poverty. It's just <laughs> ah, you cannot just spend anyhow. You understand? <laughs> that one doesn't mean that you're poor. So I think uh, some like you can just go out to watch your game with your friends outside if she would agree. But you can watch with your friends because you feel that you want to go and drink. Uh-huh, it depends. Uh, we have um a voice note. Give me a minute. Give me a minute. So yes, I think at the end of the day, everybody just needs to understand. Yeah, you have that, to consider. Yeah, consider basically. Good morning, guys. Nice topic. I feel like whatever changes you want in your partner or spouse should come from a place of love. That should be the template, and not about control. And of course, it's all about compromise on both sides. Now, compromise may not necessarily be fifty-fifty. It can be sixty-forty. It can even be seventy-thirty. You know, so the truth is that it's all about compromise. I, I recall when I was in a relationship, 
you know and i just wanted to do something special and i had dinner and had candles that's mm. just who i am it's not that like i was trying to I be who i'm not yeah. you know and i was i did the candles and everything and then he uh. walks in and then looks at the house and says oh the other people people have lights he never take light i said no he can't do it <laughs> and then he laughed and said thank you but please you know put off these candles i beg you and put on the light i want to see my mouth when i eat i am from on those state wow. you know, and I, looked at him. Wow. I wasn't angry because really that's who he is you know and all of that so i guess that is compromise and we all have to like accept each other at some point so that there will be peace ah wow the guy does spoil the mood when I did that for my ex, she was even crying. She was all like happy and all that stuff. I'm like, ah, what, are you serious? Some guys don't like it. Um, well, you try it though. Ah, let me clap for you first. Uh-uh. I am romantic. <laughs> yeah, but, ah, well, I think everybody's different. You know, but even if you want to eat, uh, uh, this guy, you can't that's your effort phone touch though. Like, um, how do you not even? <laughs> look for your mouth. I would have, even if I didn't like it, I would have kept quiet. Honestly, I would have kept quiet. Mm. I maybe told her a few days after, like, you know, I really enjoyed that. Thanks for the effort and whatnot. Just that, usually, that's what I'm saying. How you say it? Mm-hmm. Ah, my mommy says something that is the word. Don't, she said in Yoruba, but I can't remember how she said it now. Just leave them. I'm trying to picture you myself I, like you know doing that for my girlfriend, and she tells me, "Ah, uh, babe, I don't like this. So I understand you're trying to be romantic, but please, no, no more candles. You can burn the house. Eh. Ah, wow. Is it your house? As you burn it. Excuse me. I've heard <laughs> what matters. Because after that, after that, if you, you won't blame the person if for they don't show exactly any if romance. they don't make effort totally. anymore, don't make you're... any effort. They'll be like, okay, he won't like it. Let me not. Try. I don't care if you're a gestures person or not. If I go the mile. To do that for you, you better go to church and do Thanksgiving. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> like there's this video I watched. I watched uh, two days ago. A guy that was proposing to his girlfriend. And he didn't get on, um, you know, one knee. <laughs> Is it the guy who got on two knees? <laughs> no, 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 no. He didn't go oh. on the, he, didn't, he didn't kneel at all. Oh, he, did, oh. he didn't kneel at all. And the girl, and the, the girl was like, after she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And she goes like, He's, you have to kneel. Nothing. The guy was like, oh, no, I don't have to kneel. And she's like, no. Now turn to an argument. You Is have to kneel. Is he son? No, no, no. The, no the, uh, this was actually abroad, not even in Nigeria. Oh, it wasn't even... Yeah, oh, but wow. the guy is Nigerian, I think. Oh, yes. So, and the guy, guy, I mean, was it abroad? Ah, the background looked like as it was abroad. Yeah? So, like, you have to kneel. And the guy refused. The guy was like, no. So, you called me all the way from my house. I came here after spending how many hours on the road. And you cannot kneel to propose to me. I'm not... And the guy refused to accept the ring. But and the guy was like, "What's that? We've been together for five years. If I don't link up, does that mean I don't love you?" And people I were get begging. that, but sometimes I feel like sometimes again, just as we said, if something will make, especially for a special occasion happy. like that, just but, 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 but it's only think, one you time you do it situation. in your maybe, life, though. Don't you think maybe she? I know that like, maybe she wants. I would have. She wants I a perfect the picture. No, 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 no. Forget Wait, picture. No. It's just You've been just. dating for I five years. I'm so so that means she finished. Wait, and she goes ahead to say. Because I had to say, people are watching, so you won't kneel. Exactly. Kneel. But yes, because it's like this. So every girl, every girl has an idea of how she wants to be proposed. Those are some of the things that girls dream of from mm. when they are three till they grow yacht, up. On and it's a once in a lifetime thing. You're only going to do it once. once. You're only going to ask me to marry you once. So, so you must kneel. Yes, if if if, if it was and the other way, if, calm down. no, so if it was the team. other way, if it, <laughs> if it was the other way around, I'll do the same thing because yeah. I know it's only one. I've seen women that need you can still need if he doesn't need, just need to be half. If that's the case, well, he's the one who decided to bring okay, now. So if he wanted you, to marry me. me. We've been together five years. That's the more reason. That's five years. Maybe like all reasons. these things. No, it's long. true. Now it's true. Is this C finished? So him him putting we've been together for five years. That's what C finished. Now I've seen you finish. But, no, but but he said that he said that um like it he doesn't see it as a big deal. But it deal. matters to her. It's a big deal to and her. And you're the her, one who was asking deal. her yeah, to marry but, but, but you. From that video, the guy is looking like someone that's stubborn. Eh, and she, she, she looks like a stubborn person. CJ, CJ you that I know as a romantic that you are, single. CJ, you CJ will not let your babe ask. Uh-uh, what are you? What, 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 what if I tell you my baby doesn't like me needing? Yeah, okay, then that's when if she doesn't like it because you're the one who's gonna be asking her. If she doesn't like it, then that's perfect. Jesus Christ, I'm not serious. Uh-uh. Ah, you go oh my God. No, so, honestly, say that you go kneel. Say that you go kneel for me. You go kneel. <laughs> but if you don't kneel, so wait, if you listen to the airport, 
for seven, single. eight years. Yeah. And he's about to propose. Yeah. And he doesn't kneel. Yeah. And he says like, ah, babe. Then what has he been doing for then seven bye-bye. years? He obviously didn't then, know me. You, you, call, me. you call it, you know, I mean, yeah, he doesn't have any flaws, just that he doesn't need to propose. He doesn't respect he res- me. No, we no, calm down. For me. When I say respect, uh, I don't, as much as, yes, kneeling, the sign of love and whatever respect. It um, is a sign of humility. Wait, it calm down. See, that's just that. to propose. The fact that his character is not like that, he's not that kind of person. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, he doesn't have any flaw in terms of character wise, like he's, um, you know, not being possessive of you, mm-hmm. he's not um, rude, he's not arrogant. But he just doesn't kneel on. That's the- why it would be more upsetting. What What if he proposes to you? <laughs> what if he proposes to you when you guys are laying on the bed and you're like, babe, will you now come down on the bed and kneel? I'm just asking. What if um, that's you're what asking I'm dating me to, to know who I am anyway. You should know um, better than to propose to me on a bed for one. Like one caller said, we talked about <laughs> this one time, I mean. and the caller said he proposed to his babe, his wife, when they were lying yeah, down. Yeah, he rolled over. And like, and you were like, that <laughs> after I don't know what he did, <laughs> but I apparently in the know? morning. <laughs> <laughs> in the morning when he woke up he was like hey, babe would you mind you were lying down and she, she accepted and that's what was, is it the most not come down from the bed at need but that's the thing it depends maybe that's what she no, maybe likes saying she Kanye be. West rented out a host <coughs> that's girl. Kanye you can't compare your, finan- your finances your finances Kanye level I, oh my God, so now we're <laughs> three shit, didn't no I'm just God. saying you can't say Kanye you can't compare Kanye but yeah but, but my point is trying to do um, if depending if, if it's the girl who is asking the guy to marry her whoever is asking what's new you must Everybody just do whatever that other person would want. Because I'm asking you to do something for me. You have to either say yes. So if I, my aim is, I'm not going to ask you to marry me just with so the hopes of a no. no. Well, do you understand? Well, so if I want know. you to say yes, I should be able to at least do what's going to make you happy. If it's the lady who is proposing, if the man wants me to be swimming, I'll be asking, will you marry me? I, I must swim. swim. <sighs> ah, is it not one time? You know that guy that would just, oh, sure. I, I got you. you guys want the perfect, you know, romantic, um, um, French kind of love. What can I understand? No, when the guy will just uh, maybe, maybe you go kneel. Ah. When the guy will just put his leg on the chair, I'm like, oh, baby, how far? Come and take. I have something for you. Uh, <laughs> where it? Pay two fiat. Where? <laughs> it's not okay, me. okay. So I have a message that says, uh, "Well, well said, Mister Mecca. No one wants to be poor. What if the person has money and things turn out badly to in marriage? It's just grace. No one can guarantee yeah. your tomorrow. Well, true. Well, true. That's true. That's true." Well, well, well. Um, okay, so we should wrap it up in a bit. How much control should you have over your partner? Uh, well, I guess it varies. Um, there's no percentage to this. Even though um, Awad said it could be 70-30, it could be 80-20. It depends on uh, both people. Sometimes, eh? Yeah. Some men just want peace at home because... <laughs> so see, some men just want... Everybody wants I come peace. home, <laughs> there's <laughs> food. Yeah. Wait, there's food. I come home, ah, she's she hugging me, she's kissing me and we are... We are good in terms of she's giving me food and she's giving me yeah. my my extra need peace. in the other we room. All want, even women, let me shout we like day. peace. See, sometimes, we see, like let, peace. Let, let's be don't honest. say that women don't like peace. See, let's be honest. If that's a lot of times, you know, see, you know, the way you know. the way marriages go, it depends on the woman. A lot of times, As I've had if enough, if I've had if enough. your wife is angry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have a peaceful night <laughs> and then don't do anything can't, can't to get her back. angry See, but sometimes i think mm-hmm. sometimes, happy wife but, happy life no be me talker sometimes i think i think women women too they they overdo it sometimes i think men know, overdo it too let's not even go into it, this both parties it's both parties gonna, it now. Uh, it's gonna be hot on the line wait. i think both parties have their flaws <laughs> but you know sometimes yeah men they overdo i know ah i know ah, men they will mm, overdo overdo sometimes women you can meet some, some everybody meet some can ladies, overdo really and theirs is too much <laughs> Everybody can have you the know, let's just, let's just agree to disagree. Let's agree to disagree. Hey, so, let's a lot of men just want peace. They come home, there's food. And women want the yeah. same thing. We want peace, so hey. <laughs> okay, um, if you're listening, I guess this battle I cannot win it as a guy. They cannot win it. So let's just agree to disagree. Exactly. Final thoughts. <laughs> How much control should you have over your partner? Listen, when you go into a relationship, don't go in with the hopes of trying to change them. Go in with accepting them for who they are, seeing them for who they are. My mom always told me, when somebody shows you who they are, listen to them. Don't think that they're trying what to if, give you what something. What if, what if, plot twist. Mm-hmm. Okay, you like their personality. Okay. Flawless, awesome. Mm-hmm. But they have mad flaws that you can't live with. Let's say um, the person is... Let's say when you met the person, you never knew the person was um say into drugs mm-hmm. now you met the person i mean clean mm-hmm. all that you guys vibed and he hid it from you then along the line you find out okay this person abuses drugs mm-hmm. you just said something cj you said you can't live with there are certain things that no one can live with exactly. do you understand and that's why i'm saying like i feel like i feel like 
the rules are different for different things. Just as I was saying, when it comes to looks, I feel like those are things you could sit down and talk. Um, when it comes to things like that, except if, if you if someone has a drug addiction, if you're not going to rehabilitate yourself, it's not going to happen. And I mean drug addiction, not like the person is, you know how the... Um this generation they've normalized marijuana. taking marijuana no yeah but it's the and, same um, thing yeah. i'm sorry it's still it's still it's, it's peak it's because fee, it's not that's you know? not do you understand you can't if there are certain things you don't even compromise on there are certain things you I, don't for some reason, negotiate some, for with some reason some i don't want to call them idiots they feel that's not drug addiction yeah i don't know why they would say if it impairs your marijuana, judgment if it impairs your judgment then why do you look it like is, that no, because we're, so, no, we're talking about it because she was oh, okay. like, yeah, we're, we're on the same page. If it impairs Basically. your judgment. Because I remember when we talked about marijuana on the show and uh, people were calling like, nah, for what? Yeah, yeah. no, a lot of people yeah, are on that. If you if there's something you think you can stick, fine. But um, at the end of the day, if it impairs your judgment, I can't tell what you will do when you're under the influence. Okay, so, let's wrap up. Final thoughts. If you're done yet. Just compromise. You know, try to compromise. And if it's something you think you can stick, do not stick with it and make your lives miserable. You know? Mm. Be truthful to yourself more than anything. Before compromise, be truthful to yourself. If you think yeah. it's something that's going to cause you heartache, hmm. don't you know? Don't try to work around it. As much as I say, work with things in relationships. There are things that you know you can't stick, and don't try to change anybody per se. Hmm. People will only change if they want to. Hmm. It's yeah. really about how they feel about. It's a function of how they feel about you and how they reach you. Hmm. So yeah, it's that yeah. Basically. So basically, it's compromise. And um, at the end of the day, I think um, you should always use your head. If it's something that you know exactly would uh, change you as a person, that will make you better. And you, you know yes. in your deepest of heart, mind that this thing will make me better. Don't be stubborn about it. Exactly. If it will make don't you better, be but if you it, if it will honest. make you hate yourself, it will make you mm-hmm. resent yourself. Then don't do it. Fact. Yeah, it's not gonna make know? you better. Trust me. If I, I feel your partner, um, if he or she doesn't love you, they as in, they wouldn't be making that suggestion that exactly. okay, you know what? But it's because of love. That's why they're trying to maybe change you for the better. Mm-hmm. And if you know that this thing will make you better, make you let's say more successful, make you more, um, I don't know, just make you a better person more in general. Rounded, well-rounded more, well rounded. God bless you, well rounded. So I think you can always accept that I, we had a caller that said the wife um, introduced him to you wearing suits and he likes it now yeah. sometimes you can't you can't actually tell It'd what you like till so you try yeah. so yes um, compromise with an compromise. open mind but also going ready to accept your partner for who they are yep 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 alright that's it on Hot Topics thank you for your contributions messages calls and all that we do this every weekday from uh, Monday to Friday by 8.30 on the Coffee Gang and today was just a feel good edition alright back to the music it's still Friday so hey it's good vibes. Coffee game.